Hey y'all, it's your girl Tishonda Renee. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm sharing a super easy recipe for hamburger soup. So if you would like to see how I do it, please stay tuned. All right, to get started, I'm gonna brown one and a half pounds of ground turkey. Um, you can definitely use ground beef. That is how most people make it, but I don't eat beef, so I'm using ground turkey. To my ground turkey, I'm gonna add some onion and celery. And um, I just kind of roughly chopped both. I like my soups to be kind of chunky, so I leave my pieces kind of big. You can definitely chop yours down smaller if you prefer. I'm gonna season the turkey with garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and a little salt. Once the meat is just about done, I'm gonna add some minced garlic. I'm gonna allow that to cook for about the last three to four minutes of the browning process. Once the meat is done browning, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato sauce and my diced tomatoes. Also, I did not drain the fat from my meat but if you're using ground beef, I would definitely suggest you to drain as much of the fat um, from your meat as possible before adding your tomatoes. Now you're just gonna go ahead and mix everything together well. And I'm cooking this over a medium heat. Next, you're gonna add your chicken broth, and um, you can also substitute the chicken broth for um, beef broth or vegetable broth. You could also use water as well. I'm adding a total of 32 ounces of the chicken broth. Um, you just want to be sure to add 32 ounces of whichever liquid you choose to use. Once you have your liquid added, you want to go ahead and add your potatoes. You're going to add the potatoes first so that you can allow them to cook. I'm using four small potatoes and I've diced them kind of a medium size. Next, you wanna go ahead and season the soup. So I'm using Italian seasoning, basil, red pepper flakes, and bay leaf. I used two bay leaves, and um, I'll be sure to list the ingredients and exact measurements of everything I used to make this soup down in the description box. So be sure to check that out. Now you're gonna cover the soup with the lid and allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes. Um, you just wanna make sure your potatoes have begun to soften. After 10 minutes, you're gonna remove the lid and add about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of W sauce. I'm not gonna say it because I don't know how to say it and y'all are not gonna tear me up in the comments. And so after you've added the W sauce, you wanna go ahead and add your additional veggies. And for this soup, I'm using frozen corn and frozen green beans. You can definitely add a bag of mixed vegetables or you can add whatever veggies, you know, your favorite veggies or the veggies of your choice. These are just the ones that I wanted to add today. And now you just wanna mix everything together really well. Make sure your veggies are submerged in the liquid. And you're gonna place the lid back on top 
and allow your soup to simmer for about 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, this is what your soup is gonna look like. At this point, you wanna go ahead and taste your soup to adjust the seasonings if needed. Um, you have not added much salt at all at this point. And um, you may need some salt being that you've added the potatoes and corn and green beans. Once you've adjusted the seasonings, you want to go ahead and place your lid back on top and you're going to allow it to simmer for another 10 minutes. Then your soup is all done. So this is the final product. This is what the soup looks like once it is done. And let me tell you, this is some good soup it is so so good so flavorful um, once it is done you want to be sure to remove the bay leaves from your soup um, you definitely don't want to serve those to anyone this is a huge pot of soup i would say it serves anywhere from four to six people maybe even more um, but definitely if you don't use it all it freezes really well so I hope you all have enjoyed watching this video and I hope you'll give this recipe a try. I think you will enjoy it. Um, I also have a veggie soup video on my channel. I'll be sure to link that down in the description box. If you're not um, into meat or you're just wanting a veggie soup, it is super delicious as well. Um, be sure to check that out. I thank you all so much for watching my video and tuning into my channel if you have not already done so please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you be a part of my youtube family thanks once again have a great day